What's up YouTube, it's your buddy Will at What's Up in the Sky 37 or www.whatsupinthesky.com. Come check out my website, I got a lot of stuff on there. Um, had a good 4th of July weekend, I hope you did too if you're an American subscriber. Uh, if you're not, I hope you had a great weekend anyway. It was a long weekend for us Americans. Um, and what you're looking at now is something I haven't done a video on these ever, so this is something new for me. I go to this helioviewer.org a lot, so why don't you pull that up if you get a chance. Um, it's pretty neat. And what we have here is what people are calling like a Jupiter-sized planet or a UFO by the sun. Um, and it's kind of interesting here. Once you get this up, this is the Stereo B camera. And if you check the comment section, not the comment, but the more info section, I'll tell you how to get this up. This wasn't found by me. Somebody else found this and put this on YouTube. And I just thought it was pretty cool. And try to. And I've looked online to see if I could debunk it. I even checked the above top secret, and there wasn't really anything debunking it on there that, that I could find. So let's check this out. Let me come down to 28 days and move it back to where this object's pretty much not there. So you can still see kind of an outline. It's kind of strange how this thing comes in. It's almost, let me go back to 2012. See, there's nothing there now as you come up to it. Hey kitty, my kitty cat's coming to say hi. You see, there's nothing there now. This is back in 2012, and right around the first of this year, it pops into view. Now let me see if I can get it to come back at, uh, let me go six hours again, and let's get the best view of it. And it's still there to this day, so if you go check the Helio Viewer and the pictures, you can go see it now. So it's either something malfunctioning with the equipment, or there's something up there. I'm not sure. You know, I, I really don't know. I'm not sure how this equipment works. And that's I, I'm doing a video on it, but I want the video I saw only had about six or seven thousand views. So we're hoping to add some more to that now. Maybe some scientists. I, I like I said, I've looked all over to find out what the hell this is, and I see other little anomalies around here. So I'm wondering if you know these were from something on the lens, something there, but. If you look at this really detailed, and there's people out there have done some really good detail on this picture, and have pulled it out. It looks like there's a, an outer ring, a center ring, and then a middle that's solid, like a solid object. And at the bottom, the solid object comes down and connects to the third ring. And that's what I've found. So there's there's definitely, I know there's a better picture of it here somewhere. So as we're going forward, look, we're up to about uh, May coming up on June. It's when it really starts coming into focus. And I was wondering if this is something on the lens. I'm just not sure. So anybody who looks at this on a, on a daily basis, and the guy who had put the uh, video out originally, I'll even link his if I can find it again, he seemed to have know what he's talking about. He was knowledgeable. Looks like a lot of these videos he has on there. So I'm sure he's looked at these a lot. Let me move it up to 12 hours and see if we can get this faster or find a better. Oh, see if my cat's coming to join. What are you doing there, Bubba? All right, so let's not get distracted with the kitty. Okay, it's still sitting there. Now, there's also, see, there's also something here, but it's not that symmetrical. And that wasn't, I mean, that was there the whole time back when we, see, now there it's, it's fading out. And how far are we now? Let's get into these next months coming up. These are looking better. Okay. Nice little bright object on it. Let's see. Ooh, it disappeared. Let's see. Either that or I've, my cats just chewed the internet down. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Here we are. Back in business. Let me see what we've got. See, I've, these are much better. I've seen much better pictures of it. I know they're here. So, where are you? Maybe going by the way. It's neat how you can watch the flares just kind of take off. I was watching a video on what is the sun, and somebody he was trying to say it was hollow and that the fusion only comes from the arcs. Okay, see how it's pretty much gone in February. So it comes in right about February of this year. And, uh,. Like I said, this may have been debunked. I looked everywhere for it, tried to debunk it. Here, oh, bingo. Let's take a look at it right there. All right. Zoom it on in. All right, there's the sun. And there we are. So we've got one, two, three, and then a couple other rings. Let's move this down to six hours, 12 hours. Another uh, see, and it stays in the exact same place. So that makes me wonder okay, is it something that's docked there? Is it something on the lens? Is that a smudge? Uh, does something hit it? 
Nah. Someone was saying it was a bug on the lens, but I don't think they have bugs in outer space. But who knows? Some of the stuff I've seen from the NASA shuttle pictures and some of those uh, things that have come down are pretty amazing, what's actually up there. And it's not really talked about in the mainstream. Um, there was a really good picture that didn't have it dark. It had it more light that you could really see that there was a set something in the middle. Let me see if I can find it again. I should have marked that time down. I always do this when I'm making videos. Now it's going to go long. Sorry, guys. Let's see if we can find here. All right, try one more. Oh, we're getting okay. So we're past now. So let's get back. I think it was actually in. Okay, here we go. It was either in June. Yeah, I think it was June. Hmm. We have bogged down their website. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do this again. Okay, there we are. That might be the best we're going to get, um, at least for this one. Go play with it yourself. I will put in the description, I promise. If I don't do it today, I will do it as soon as possible. I want to link this guy's video because he's the one that found this. I didn't find this. Like I said, I don't really search these every day. And there it looks to be gone in that picture. So if it was something on the lens, wouldn't it come in every picture? See how it's slowly there now? I don't know. You guys comment below. Like I said, I hope you guys had a great weekend. It was a 4th of July weekend. The girlfriend Ann and I, we went to a, the beach in Ocean City, Maryland, watched the, the fireworks right on the beach. And uh, last night we went up to the house in Chestertown on the water. Beautiful. Just had a good time. Um, hit me up on Facebook if you guys have any uh, any pictures, any Mars anomalies to send me, anything you want to send me. It's uh, You can hit me at my website, whatsupinthesky.com. My email is will at willfarrar.net, F-A-R-R-A-R. -R -R. And you can also catch me on Facebook, Will Farrar. In, in, uh, I think I've got it as Pittsville, Maryland is where you can find me. So much love, guys. Take it easy. And I uh, hope you have a good weekend. Hope you have a good work week, actually. Tomorrow's uh, Monday. So after five days off, uh, Monday. <laughs> Take care.